And welcome back folks, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sin. The last episode we were wandering around the mansion of Alexis Sinclair and I had some trouble with the security. I also already recorded two episodes that unfortunately I now have to re-record because I forgot to start fraps. Yep. Okay, about that laser. Um. Okay. I guess that worked. Um, let's try not to activate, and then I activate it. Um, okay, I didn't activate the security. That's great. Yes. Um, we are in this room, and you may notice these beautiful pictures, um, or not so beautiful. And you may notice that there are some giant statues of erect penises with scrotum and um, whatever this thing is called in English, the top part of the penis. It's not quite detailed, but I think you get the picture. Okay, let's, let's move on. Whoa, Blade, this is some crazy CEO. She seems a little twisted, don't you think? You know you're drooling, JC. Yep, I think he is. Uh, she has an interesting taste. Um, sort of a wild mix of of styles. Um, anyway, okay, that's a. That seems to be a Amazon warrior with n with bare boobs. And some sort of blunt weapon there. Okay, there are no secrets here. There's a woman with an apple or um, an apple of pain in her mouth. Oh, maybe it's not. Not sure if that's called apple of pain, but uh, you get you get the idea. <gasps> there are some magazines. Murder comics. Satan's little girl. And something chock, owl, chick, whatever. I can't read this. Uh, and let's look at, at her underwear. That seems like a bra. Yes, I think it is a bra. Wonder bra. Wunderbar. These look like pants, maybe. Hmm, that looks like a top. Um. And this looks like trousers and tops again. Okay, as would have suspected the personal underwear of Mrs. Sinclair to be a bit more kinky, but there you go. John Blade. Punching unarmed women and going through their undergarment. And there's a switch that activates a light that's supposed to be romantic, I guess. And a bunch of CDs that you can smash. Take this, Alexis. I'm destroying your collection of in valuable CDs and I'm destroying your chair too and your table no I can't destroy the table and there's uh, a light or telescope she seems to be a fan of telescopes look I destroyed your telescope okay um, can't destroy your pictures unfortunately there's a picture of a female breast, by the looks of it, and a signature which I can't read. Hmm, okay, but there's a switch, <clears throat> and I achieved something by pushing that switch. Damn, you could run an empire from this bedroom. She does, JC. That's the point. 
Uh, she's got gear I could only dream about. In more ways than one, JC. <laughs> Let's find out what Alexis has been up to. Terrible, inappropriate jokes. Oh, this is a, a person, first person shooter made in the 90s, so. And there's something on top of this. Um. Ah ha ha! Secret! What's that? Maybe. Okay, maybe it is this reactive shield, which I don't know what it does. It probably shields you from things, I would suppose. But I can't pick it up. Um, but you can look outside. Which is interesting in itself. Okay, let's leave. Um, stop fooling around. Even though I would like to fool around with Mrs. Sinclair. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's explore. And there's a bathroom which looks like... Which looks exactly like the bathroom which she saw earlier. Or oh, in the My Bonus video. That isn't yet uploaded. That looks exactly like the bathroom where we saw Lexa Sinclair naked. And there's her toilet. Um, the only difference being that Lexa Sinclair is not here. This room has a door now, an exit, and the security camera is there instead of there. Okay, let's leave. But still punch uh, destroy your furniture. Okay. You can leave now. And I'm on 26% health. That's not good. Next month, month Fe Phoenix. Blade ascends to this perch. Dirge, perch, from where Alexis intends to exact bloody vengeance upon the world. And a cutscene. From the day I spliced my first gene, I saw the power contained within our very own genetic chains. Not all the voices of history could silence what I saw in them. In them I saw the truth. In them I saw the beauty of humanity as it could be. Each and every one of us is like an unfinished masterpiece. We are incomplete as we exist now, never realizing our potential as a species. There are colleagues of mine that call me insane. They say my experiments on humans have broken their laws of science, and they would be correct. I have broken their antiquated laws, which have kept genetic science in the Dark Ages for so long. I ask you, can you not see the doom of man all around you? Death, famine, pestilence, war! I alone can crush these four horsemen of the coming apocalypse with one miraculous act. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the dawn of a new day for mankind. Today there will be a revolution, but so much more. Today there will be an evolution. Hmm, interesting. So it appears that Alexis Sinclair does not want to destroy the world, but save the world. From pestilence, death, famine, and war. Okay, I get death and famine, but pestilence. Don't think that's a problem in, uh, in this age. Okay. And I'm not quite sure how you want to achieve that by turning people into horrible creatures. But who am I to judge? Okay, let's move on. Yeah. This looks like a nuclear warhead. The one which we failed to protect. Um, there's a ladder there. You can't actually go down this ladder. I know because I tried already. Um, when you try to go down the ladder, something weird happens. Or not. Hmm, strange. Uh, okay. When I last... When I last... When I last... I told you that I already recorded that 
I already recorded uh, two episodes and when I tried this last time there was a strange glitch. Okay. Can I jump on this? Damn! Yeah, I can. Um, in principle. But then I fall off this ladder anyway. Okay. I will just reload. Because I can. And I do not want to be on 9% health. Okay, I don't think there's any thing you can achieve here anyway. Okay. Um, even though this looks like a ladder uh, door. Ah, yeah, it's this door. Okay. Never mind. Um, there's a pipe that we can blow up. We shall do so. I'm an idiot. Folks, I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Now do this without getting hurt. Maybe let's, let's just use the grenade launcher. Um, blows us up from a safe distance. Ah! Okay. Um... Not... Okay, I'm out of ammunition there. Okay, let's use a rocket if we have to. Um... We achieved something. Not quite sure what. But I achieved something. Uh, and there's another one of those pipes. I don't think I can destroy, but I can destroy this one. Okay, are there any more pipes that I can destroy? Damn, a security door. Uh, Damn, a security door. Okay, this is locked. Uh, Okay, some sort of telescope, it appears. Yeah. And this is locked, let me guess. Damn, a security door. And we don't have a security card for it. Damn, a security door. Uh Damn, a security door. Damn a security Damn, door. A security door. Okay, these doors are all locked. Um They are locked for a reason. And I actually know that reason because I played through this part already. So when I when I act surprised when I act surprised, I am just lying to you. Okay, I will try to fall down this ledge. If I fail. And a horrible monster. That is killing people. And now those two, uh, those who are just ignor ignoring me. Oop. Um. Yeah. And my timer. Talk to me, man. Just sounded. That means not only that I will reload. But it will also mean that this episode is over and we see ourselves in the next episode. So until next time folks, until then.